very good morning students in today's class i'll be talking about ionization energy variation on moving across a period from left to right in the periodic table in the last class i talked about ionization energy in this class we are talking about variation in a period i have specifically taken the example of the second period the elements are lithium beryllium boron 1s2 2s2 2p1 carbon 1s2 2s2 2p2 nitrogen 1s2 2s2 2p3 oxygen 1s2 2s2 2p4 fluorine 1s2 2s2 2p5 neon 1s2 2s2 2p6 these the group numbers here are first group second group after that you have the 3 to the 12th group which is your transition elements which we don't take into account when we talk about the property variation 13th group for boron 14th for carbon 15th group for nitrogen 16th group for oxygen 17th group for fluorine and the 18th group for neon so on moving from left to right even from class 10th you are aware that on moving from left to right the atomic radii decreases why so as you go from lithium to beryllium the number of protons is increasing by 1 so is the number of electrons and the electrons are added in the same second shell as i grow from lithium to beryllium and so on for each step you have a proton increase by 1 proton increases by 1 on moving from left to right electron increases by 1 on moving from left to right but in the same shell the second shell you have a 2p6 in the 2p6 you have the last electron entering the second shells p sub shell you have a 2p5 2p4 2p3 2p2 2p1 2s2 2s1 so all of them have the highest principal quantum number value as 2 so the electron is being added to the second shell that is the reason we we place them in the second period now ionization energy is the energy required to remove the electron now since all the electrons are in the second shell we have to remove the electron only from the second shell but on moving from left to right the size is decreasing because nuclear charge is increasing electrons are also increasing but in the same shell therefore the force of attraction increases hence the amount of ionization energy the energy required to remove the electron definitely will increase is the expectation hence we expect if lithium has this amount of ionization energy then beryllium would have this and we would have a continuous rise in the ionization energy is the expected line where the value for lithium is this beryllium the value is this boron again arise carbon arise nitrogen arise oxygen arise fluorine here and neon again here so if these are the expected values of ionization enthalpies on moving from left to right this is the ionization enthalpy representation and the units are kilojoules per mole which you already are aware of now the surprising fact is this is the expected line but what is observed is this and the next observation is with respect to nitrogen you have this and the third observation is this what do we mean by this this means there is a special case in case of beryllium beryllium the configuration is 1s2 2s2 a special case in case of nitrogen the configuration is 1s2 2s2 2p3 and a special case in case of neon the last member 1s2 2s2 2p6 so i'm talking about the group 2 the group 15th member and the group 18th member we find that there is a rise than the expected value now coming to the conclusion why so lithium to beryllium we expect the ionization energy to increase and it does because the size is decreasing but on moving from beryllium to boron we find beryllium has a higher ionization energy than boron why so 
the idea is the configuration. The electronic configuration of 2s2, the fully filled outermost subshell from which the electron is to be removed. Whereas in case of boron, the configuration is 2p1. A 2p subshell has a poorer penetration power. So removal of electron from a 2p is going to require lesser amount of energy despite its smaller size. So beryllium has a higher ionization in comparison to boron. Moving ahead, the next member becomes carbon. You again have a carbon has a higher ionization energy. Nitrogen is expected to have a higher ionization energy, but it does have a much higher ionization energy again due to its stable configuration of 2p3. By the Hans rule, you have a half filled 2p, which will require a large amount of energy. So the 15th group again shows a exceptional rise in the value of ionization energy. In fact, when we go from nitrogen to oxygen, oxygen is smaller. Still, the ionization energy for nitrogen is larger. Why so? Is because the electronic configuration overrules the size factor where electronic configuration causes removal of electron to become difficult. The amount of energy required to remove the electron from this stable configuration is much, much higher. Hence, Oxygen, despite being smaller than nitrogen, still has a higher ionization energy. This is a commonly asked question, but you lose marks if you don't give the configuration. So you need to give the configuration of nitrogen as 2p3, oxygen as 2p4, then explain that it is the electronic configuration, the stability of the last shell, which causes the high increase in the ionization energy. Moving from oxygen to fluorine, fluorine again has a higher value. Now, neon has an exceptionally high value. The reason is your fully filled subshells and the shell. So, it has an inert gas configuration. So, the removal is definitely going to require a large, large amount of energy. So, whenever you have a question, in case of ionization energy, please check. Generally, the group 2 element has a ionization energy higher than expected and so is true for group number 15 and both the reasons are in case of group 15 you'll talk about the half fill subshell p and in case of group 2 you'll talk about the fully fill subshell s and also the very next member which despite being smaller but the electron would be removed from the p subshell and p subshell removal of electron is always easier because the p subshells have a lesser penetration power than the s subshell hence on moving across a period atomic radii does decrease but uh, hence the attraction force does increase we expect the ionization energy to be higher that is the expected line with red but there is a humps at beryllium and at nitrogen and a severe rise in case of neon the reasons attributed to their electronic configuration commonly asked questions are with respect to beryllium and boron and nitrogen and oxygen are the commonly asked questions about ionization energies and they are framed in a way so as to confuse you so don't be confused stress on the electronic configuration write the electronic configuration and then conclude your answer with this i close my class for the variation of ionization energy across a period thank you